Joseph Harold Greenberg, May 28, 1915 to May 7, 2001, was an American linguist known mainly for his work concerning linguistic typology and the genetic classification of languages. Topic: Life. Early life and education Main source, Croft 2003 Joseph Greenberg was born on May 28, 1915 to Jewish parents in Brooklyn, New York. His first great interest was music. At the age of 14, he gave a piano concert in Steinway Hall. He continued to play the piano frequently throughout his life. After finishing high school, he decided to pursue a scholarly career rather than a musical one. He enrolled at Columbia University in New York. During his senior year, he attended a class taught by Franz Boas concerning American Indian languages. With references from Boas and Ruth Benedict, he was accepted as a graduate student by Melville J. Herskovitz at Northwestern University in Chicago. During the course of his graduate studies, Greenberg did fieldwork among the Hausa people of Nigeria, where he learned the Hausa language. The subject of his doctoral dissertation was the influence of Islam on a Hausa group that, unlike most others, had not converted to it. During 1940, he began postdoctoral studies at Yale University. These were interrupted by service in the U.S. Army Signal Corps during World War II, for which he worked as a codebreaker and participated with the landing at Casablanca. Before leaving for Europe during 1943, Greenberg married Selma Berkowitz, whom he had met during his first year at Columbia University. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. After the war, Greenberg taught at the University of Minnesota before returning to Columbia University during 1948 as a teacher of anthropology. While in New York, he became acquainted with Roman Jakobsen and André Martinet. They introduced him to the Prague School of Structuralism, which influenced his work. During 1962, Greenberg relocated to the Anthropology Department of Stanford University in California, where he continued to work for the rest of his life. During 1965 Greenberg served as president of the African Studies Association. He received during 1996 the highest award for a scholar in linguistics, the Gold Medal of Philology http colon slash slash ensop.org slash index dot php question mark p equals one underscore eight underscore ancient dash metal dash winners dot closing parenthesis Topic. Contributions to linguistics Topic. Linguistic typology Greenberg's reputation rests partly on his contributions to synchronic linguistics and the quest to identify linguistic universals. 
During the late 1950s, Greenberg began to examine languages covering a wide geographic and genetic distribution. He located a number of interesting potential universals as well as many strong cross-linguistic tendencies. In particular, Greenberg conceptualized the idea of implicational universal which has the form, if a language has structure X, then it must also have structure Y. For example, X might be mid-front rounded vowels, and Y high front rounded vowels. For terminology see phonetics. Many scholars adopted this kind of research following Greenberg's example and it remains important in synchronic linguistics. Like Noam Chomsky, Greenberg sought to discover the universal structures on which human language is based. Unlike Chomsky, Greenberg's method was functionalist, rather than formalist. An argument to reconcile the Greenbergian and Chomskyan methods can be found in Linguistic Universals, 2006, edited by Ricardo Myrol and Juana Gill. Many who are strongly opposed to Greenberg's methods of language classification see below acknowledge the importance of his typological work. During 1963 he published an article that was extremely influential, "...some universals of grammar with particular reference to the order of meaningful elements." <laughs> Mass comparison Greenberg rejected the opinion, prevalent among linguists since the mid-20th century, that comparative reconstruction was the only method to discover relationships between languages. He argued that genetic classification is methodologically prior to comparative reconstruction, or the first stage of it. You cannot engage in the comparative reconstruction of languages until you know which languages to compare. 1957 to 44. He also criticized the prevalent opinion that comprehensive comparisons of two languages at a time which commonly take years to perform could establish language families of any size. He argued that, even for eight languages, there are already 4,140 ways to classify them into distinct families, while for 25 languages there are 4 quintillion 749 quadrillion 27 trillion 89 billion 305 million 918 thousand 18 ways 1,957 to 44. For comparison, the Niger-Congo family is said to have some 1,500 languages. He thought language families of any size needed to be established by some scholastic means other than bilateral comparison. The theory of mass comparison is an attempt to demonstrate such means. Greenberg argued for the virtues of breadth over depth. He advocated restricting the amount of material to be compared, to basic vocabulary, morphology, and known paths of sound change, and increasing the number of languages to be compared to all the languages in a given area. This would make it possible to compare numerous languages reliably. At the same time, the process would provide a check on accidental resemblances through the sheer number of languages under review. 
the mathematical probability that resemblances are accidental decreases strongly with the number of languages concerned 1957 to 39 Greenberg used the premise that mass borrowing of basic vocabulary is unknown. He argued that borrowing, when it occurs, is concentrated in cultural vocabulary and clusters, in certain semantic areas, making it easy to detect 1957 to 39. With the goal of determining broad patterns of relationship, the idea was not to get every word right but to detect patterns. From the beginning with his theory of mass comparison, Greenberg addressed why chance resemblance and borrowing were not obstacles to its being useful. Despite that, critics consider those phenomena caused difficulties for his theory. Greenberg first termed his method, "...mass comparison." In an article of 1954 reprinted in Greenberg 1955. As of 1987, he replaced the term, "...mass comparison," with multilateral comparison", to emphasize its contrast with the bilateral comparisons recommended by linguistics textbooks. He believed that multilateral comparison was not in any way opposed to the comparative method, but as, on the contrary, its necessary first step Greenberg, 1957–44. According to him, comparative reconstruction should have the status of an explanatory theory for facts already established by language classification. Greenberg, 1957 to 45. Most historical linguists, Campbell 2001 to 45, reject the use of mass comparison as a method for establishing genealogical relationships between languages. Among the most outspoken critics of mass comparison have been Lyle Campbell, Donald Ring, William Poser, and the late R. Larry Trask. Topic. Genetic classification of languages Topic. The languages of Africa Greenberg is known widely for his development of a classification system for the languages of Africa, which he published as a series of articles in the Southwestern Journal of Anthropology from 1949 to 1954 reprinted together as a book during 1955. He revised the book and published it again during 1963, followed by a nearly identical edition of 1966, reprinted without change during 1970. A few more changes of the classification were made by Greenberg in an article during 1981. Greenberg grouped the hundreds of African languages into four families, which he dubbed Afroasiatic, Nilo-Saharan, Niger-Congo, and Khoisan. During the course of his work, Greenberg invented the term, Afroasiatic, to replace the earlier term, Hamito-Semitic. After showing that the Hamitic group, accepted widely since the 19th century, is not a valid language family. 
Another major feature of his work was to establish the classification of the Bantu languages, which occupy much of sub-Saharan Africa, as a part of the Niger-Congo language family, rather than as an independent family as many Bantuists had maintained. Greenberg's classification rested largely in evaluating competing earlier classifications. For a time, his classification was considered bold and speculative, especially the proposal of a Nilo-Saharan language family. Now, apart from Khoisan, it is generally accepted by African specialists and has been used as a basis for further work by other scholars. Greenberg's work on African languages has been criticized by Lyle Campbell and Donald Ring, who do not believe that his classification is justified by his data. They request a re examination of his macro phyla by reliable methods. Ring 1993 104. Harold Fleming and Lionel Bender, who are sympathetic to Greenberg's classification, acknowledge that at least some of his macrofamilies, particularly Nilo Saharan and Khoisan, are not accepted completely by most linguists and may need to be divided. Campbell 1997. Their objection is methodological, if mass comparison is not a valid method, it cannot be expected to have brought order successfully out of the confusion of African languages. By contrast, some linguists have sought to combine Greenberg's four African families into larger units. In particular, Edgar Gregerson 1972, proposed joining Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan into a larger family, which he termed Congo-Saharan. Roger Blench 1995, suggests Niger-Congo is a subfamily of Nilo-Saharan. The languages of New Guinea, Tasmania, and the Andaman Islands During 1971 Greenberg proposed the Indo-Pacific macrofamily, which groups together the Papuan languages a large number of language families of New Guinea and nearby islands with the native languages of the Andaman Islands and Tasmania but excludes the Australian Aboriginal languages. Its principal feature was to reduce the manifold language families of New Guinea to a single genetic unit. This excludes the Austronesian languages, which have been established as associated with a more recent migration of people. Greenberg's subgrouping of these languages has not been accepted by the few specialists who have worked on the classification of these languages. However, the work of Stephen Worm 1982 and Malcolm Ross 2005 has provided considerable evidence for his once radical idea that these languages form a single genetic unit. Worm stated that the lexical similarities between Great Andamanese and the West Papuan and Timor Alor families are quite striking and amount to virtual formal identity in a number of instances. He believes this to be due to a linguistic substratum. Topic. The languages of the Americas Most linguists concerned with the native languages of the Americas classify them into 150 to 180 independent language families. 
Some believe that two language families, Eskimo Aleut and Na Dene, were distinct, perhaps the results of later migrations into the New World. Early on, Greenberg 1957 to 41, 1960 became convinced that many of the language groups considered unrelated could be classified into larger groupings. In his 1987 book Language in the Americas, while agreeing that the Eskimo Aleut and Na Dene groupings as distinct, he proposed that all the other Native American languages belong to a single language macro family, which he termed Amund. Language in the Americas has generated lively debate, but has been criticized strongly. It is rejected by most specialists of indigenous languages of the Americas and also by most historical linguists. Specialists of the individual language families have found extensive inaccuracies and errors in Greenberg's data, such as including data from non-existent languages, erroneous transcriptions of the forms compared, misinterpretations of the meanings of words used for comparison, and entirely spurious forms. Historical linguists also reject the validity of the method of multilateral or mass comparison upon which the classification is based. They argue that he has not provided a convincing case that the similarities presented as evidence are due to inheritance from an earlier common ancestor rather than being explained by a combination of errors, accidental similarity, excessive semantic latitude in comparisons, borrowings, onomatopoeia, etc. However, Harvard geneticist David Reich notes that recent genetic studies have identified patterns that support Greenberg's Ammon classification, the first American category. The cluster of populations that he predicted to be most closely related based on language were in fact verified by the genetic patterns in populations for which data are available. Although this category of first American people actually also interbred and eventually contributed the majority of genes to both the Eskimo Aleut and Na Dene populations. The languages of northern Eurasia Later in his life, Greenberg proposed that nearly all of the language families of northern Eurasia belong to a single higher order family, which he termed Eurasiatic. The only exception was Yeniseian, which has been related to a wider Dene Caucasian grouping, also including Sino Tibetan. During 2008 Edward Vida related Yeniseian to the Na Dene languages of North America as a Dene Yeniseian family. The Eurasiatic grouping resembles the older nostratic groupings of Holger Peterson and Vladislav Ilyich Svitik by including Indo-European, Uralic, and Altaic. It differs by including Nivik, Japonic, Korean, and Ainu, which the Nostraticists had excluded from comparison because they are single languages rather than language families, and in excluding Afroasiatic. At about this time, Russian Nostraticists, notably Sergei Starostin, constructed a revised version of Nostratic. It was slightly larger than Greenberg's grouping but it also excluded Afroasiatic. Recently, a consensus has been emerging among proponents of the Nostratic hypothesis. 
Greenberg basically agreed with the Nostratic concept, though he stressed a deep internal division between its northern tier, his Eurasiatic, and a southern tier, principally Afroasiatic and Dravidian. The American Nostraticist Alan Baumhard considers Eurasiatic a branch of Nostratic, alongside other branches, Afroasiatic, Alamo Dravidian, and Kartvelian. Similarly, Jorge Starostin arrives at a tripartite overall grouping, he considers Afroasiatic, Nostratic and Elamite to be roughly equidistant and more closely related to each other than to any other language family. Sergei Starostin's school has now included Afroasiatic in a broadly defined Nostratic. They reserve the term Eurasiatic to designate the narrower subgrouping, which comprises the rest of the macrofamily. Recent proposals thus differ mainly on the precise inclusion of Dravidian and Kartvelian. Greenberg continued to work on this project after he was diagnosed with incurable pancreatic cancer and until he died during May 2001. His colleague and former student Merit Rulin ensured the publication of the final volume of his Eurasiatic work 2002 after his death. Equals equals selected works by Joseph H. Greenberg equals equals. Topic books studies in African linguistic classification. New Haven, Compass Publishing Company, 1955. Photo offset reprint of the SJA articles with minor corrections. Essays in linguistics. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. 1957. The Languages of Africa. Bloomington, Indiana University Press. 1963. Heavily revised version of Greenberg 1955. From the same publisher, second, revised edition, 1966, third edition, 1970. All three editions simultaneously published at The Hague by Mouton & Co., Language Universals, with special reference to feature hierarchies. The Hague, Mouton & Co., 1966. Reprinted 1980 and, with a foreword by Martin Haspelmath, 2005, Language in the Americas. Stanford, Stanford University Press. 1987. Keith Denning, Suzanne Kemmer, eds. 1990. On Language, Selected Writings of Joseph H. Greenberg. Stanford, C.A., Stanford University Press. Indo-European and its closest relatives, the Eurasiatic language family. 1. Grammar. Stanford, Stanford University Press. 2000. Indo-European and its closest relatives, the Eurasiatic language family. 2. Lexicon. Stanford, Stanford University Press. 2002. William Croft, ed. 2005. Genetic Linguistics, Essays on Theory and Method. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Topic. Books Editor Universals of Language, Report of a Conference Held at Dobbs Ferry, New York, April 13–15, 1961. Cambridge, MIT Press. 1963. Second edition 1966 Universals of Human Language
1. Method and theory, 2. Phonology, 3. Word structure, 4. Syntax. Stanford, Stanford University Press. 1978. Topic. Articles, reviews, etc. Ben Ali Diary. Journal of Negro History. 25.3, 372 375. 1940. doi 10.2307, 2,714,801. Some Problems in House of Phonology. Language. 17, 4, 316 to 323. doi 10.2307/409283. JSTOR 409283. Arabic loan words in Hausa. Word. 3 to 85 minus 87 1947 Greenberg Joseph H 1948 The classification of African languages American anthropologist 50 to 24 minus 30 doi 10.1525 a.1948 50.1.02a0005 studies in african linguistic classification i introduction niger congo family southwestern journal of anthropology 5 to 79 minus 100 1949 Studies in African Linguistic Classification 2 The Classification of Fulani Southwestern Journal of Anthropology 5 to 190-98 1949 Studies in African Linguistic Classification 3 the Position of Bantu", Southwestern Journal of Anthropology. 5–309–17. 1949. Greenberg 1950. Studies in African Linguistic Classification, I.V. Hamito-Semitic", Southwestern Journal of Anthropology. 6 1, 47 to 63 JSTOR 3628690 Studies in African Linguistic Classification V the Eastern Sudanic Family Southwestern Journal of Anthropology 6 to 143-60 1950. Studies in African Linguistic Classification, v. The Click Languages. Southwestern Journal of Anthropology. 6 223 37. 1950. Studies in African Linguistic Classification, 7. Smaller Families, Index of Languages. Southwestern Journal of Anthropology. 6 388 98. 1950. Studies in African Linguistic Classification, 8. Further Remarks on Method, Revisions and Corrections. Southwestern Journal of Anthropology. 10 405 15.
1954. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1957. The Nature and Uses of Linguistic Topologies. International Journal of American Linguistics. 23, 68-77. Doi 10.1086/464395. Anthony F. C. Wallace, ed. 1960. The General Classification of Central and South American Languages. Selected Papers of the Fifth International Congress of Anthropological and Ethnological Sciences. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press. pp. 791–4. Reprinted in Genetic Linguistics, 2005. Is the vowel-consonant dichotomy universal? Word. 18–73–81. 1962. Universals of Language. Cambridge, MIT Press. 1963. pp. 58–90. Archived from the original on 20 September 2010. In second edition of Universals of Language, 1966, pp. 73–113. Greenberg 1966. Synchronic and Diachronic Universals in Phonology. Language. 42 508–17. doi. 10.2307.411706. JSTOR 411706. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1970. Some generalizations concerning glottalic consonants, especially implosives. International Journal of American Linguistics. 36, 2, 123 145. Doi ten point one zero eight six four hundred sixty five thousand one hundred five Thomas A. Seaboak, et al., eds. nineteen seventy one. The Indo Pacific Hypothesis Current Trends in Linguistics, Volume eight Linguistics in Oceania. The Hague, Mouton de Gruder pp. 807–871. Reprinted in Genetic Linguistics, 2005. Numeral classifiers and substantival number, problems in the genesis of a linguistic type. Working papers in language universals. 921–39. 1972. Greenberg, 1979. Rethinking linguistics diachronically. Language. 55. 2. 275 to 90. Doi 10.2307/412,000. JSTOR 412585 Ralph E. Cooley, Mervyn R. Barnes, John A. Dunn, eds. 1979. The Classification of American Indian Languages. Papers of the Mid-American Linguistic Conference at Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma Interdisciplinary Linguistics Program. pp. 7–22. Joseph Key Zerbo, ed. 1981. 
African Linguistic Classification General History of Africa, Volume 1, Methodology and African Prehistory. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press. pp. 292–308. Ivan R. Dehoff, ed. 1983. Some Aerial Characteristics of African Languages. Current Approaches to African Linguistics, 1. Dordrecht, Forrest. pp. 3 21. With Christy G. Turner II and Stephen L. Zagura. Convergence of Evidence for Peopling of the Americas. Collegium Anthropologicum. 933-42. With Christy G. Turner II and Stephen L. Zagura, December 1986. The Settlement of the Americas: A Comparison of the Linguistic, Dental, and Genetic Evidence. Current Anthropology. 27.5.477-97. doi.10.1086.203.014. Greenberg, J. H. Classification of American Indian Languages, A Reply to Campbell. Language. 65.1-1, one, 107-114. JSTOR 414844. Greenberg, J. H. 1993. Observations Concerning Rings Calculating the Factor of Chance in Language Comparison. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society. 137.1, 1, 79-90. JSTOR 986946 Review of Michael Fortescue, Language Relations Across Bering Strait, Reappraising the Archaeological and Linguistic Evidence. Review of Archaeology. 21.2, 23-24. Topic Bibliography Blench, Roger. Nineteen ninety five. Is Niger Congo simply a branch of Nilo Saharan? In Fifth Nilo Saharan Linguistics Colloquium, Nice, twenty four to twenty nine, August nineteen ninety two. Proceedings, edited by Robert Nikolai and Franz Rotland. Cologne, Kopp Verlag, pp. 36–49. Campbell, Lyle 1986. Comment on Greenberg, Turner, and Zagura. Current Anthropology, 27–488. Doi 10.1086/203,014. Campbell, Lyle. 1997. American Indian Languages: The Historical Linguistics of Native America. New York: Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 19 509 427 1. Campbell, Lyle. 2001. Beyond the Comparative Method. 
In Historical Linguistics 2001, selected papers from the 15th International Conference on Historical Linguistics, Melbourne, 13–17 August 2001, edited by Barry J. Blake, Kate Borridge, and Joe Taylor. Diamond, Jared. 1997. Guns, Germs and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies. New York, Norton. ISBN 0-393-03891-2. Gregerson, Edgar Congo-Saharan. Journal of African Languages. 11 1, 69–89. Myrel, Ricardo and Juana Gill. 2006. Linguistic Universals. Cambridge N.Y., Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-54552-5. Ring, Donald A. A Reply to Professor Greenberg. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society. 137-91-109. Ross, Malcolm. 2005. Pronouns as a Preliminary Diagnostic for Grouping Papuan Languages. In Papuan Pasts, Cultural, Linguistic and Biological Histories of Papuan-Speaking Peoples, edited by Andrew Polly, Robert Attenborough, Robin Hyde, and Jack Golson. Canberra, Pacific Linguistics, pp. 15–66. Worm, Stephen A. 1982. The Papuan Languages of Oceania. Tübingen, Gunter Narr. Topic. See also. Linguistic Universal. Monogenesis Linguistics. Nostratic languages.